This is a bit of a rundown on the ELM327 OBD2 interface into CARS EFI electronic systems. I bought it off eBay. It's the Wi Fi version specifically for using with the iPhones and iPads, and uh, it'll show you engine parameters. You'll be able to reset codes, see what codes are um, stored in the engine. Uh, put uh, gauges on, on your iPhone or iPad uh, using the information from the car, graph it, all sorts of different things. So this is in a RAV4 about a 2000, I'm sitting in a RAV4 about a 2010 I think it was. It's got a very convenient port just down here, under there. So we'll plug that in. You'll see some lights flashing on the top. And uh, tells you it's got uh, power. We will uh, put the key in the ignition and start the car. And uh, now we'll set up the um, iPad and the iPhone. When you first set up the iPad and the iPhone, you've got to set up the Wi Fi part of it. We go into uh, the Wi Fi settings, and you'll see an OBD2. Um, Wi-Fi thing pop up after a little while there it is there just popped up so we click on that when you first set it up you've got to click on the little blue eye and you go in and as you can see you set it up using those parameters don't put any other parameters in that will allow you to also use your phone to connect to the internet or send texts or whatever um, while doing this um, the interface won't be set up as your internet interface so once it's set up like that, uh, go back. Oh, another thing is the password for this I worked out is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one through to eight, and that'll um, hook up the Wi-Fi. So once you've got the tick on the um, Wi-Fi OBD, just minimise that. I've got two apps. One app is paid for, the OBD scanner, and the OBD car doctor is free. So we'll try the free one first, so we open up the free one, you'll get to here, it'll send some commands, bang, and it's and it's hooked up. So we can see some general info, it doesn't show the VIN number, not all parameters are shown on all apps or all cars. So you see some dynamic parameters, so we can go in and have a look at uh, different parameters. For instance, we'll go into uh, engine load. And you'll see the engine load and I'll rev it up and you can see that changing and the graph graphing that as we go and go back we'll go into uh, engine revs so there's shows you the engine revs Uh, speed if you were moving, timing advance, so it shows you the timing and shows you how that changes when you move the throttle. There's all sorts of parameters in here. We go back, we're going to have a look at the trouble codes, there is no errors in here, but if you had errors, you could show the errors in there. You can say uh, email them with the send button. And um, yeah, that's it for the uh, for the free app, so we'll disconnect that and we'll go into the paid app. So this is a paid app, so it's actually automatically connected. So this is a pretty simple one, it just connects when you hit that middle button. You can see that it's uh, the revs have hooked up. This one here, oh it's actually showing, initially it wasn't showing fuel level. Oh that fuel level is actually wrong. So it doesn't show fuel level on this car, um, but it does on the other car that I have, which I'll switch to later, but you can see different things there changing. You can do a trip, and it'll average out and show you things on your trip. You can do graphs, and it'll show you the individual sensors. So this is all the different sensors off there. So you can go and have a look at uh, throttle position sensor, So I'll find one that 
Timing advance, you can see that moving. Different sensors. You can go in and see what trouble codes we have. And if it has a code, you can go into a database and it'll show you what that code means. So that's it for the RAV4. And uh, I'll switch over to a Ford Focus. And um, that one there shows a, a little bit more stuff. So now we're in a Ford Focus, right hand drive. The connector in this one is under this little tray. You can just pull that out and there it is there. This one here, the lights, it's upside down so you can't see the lights, but you plug it on. We'll start up the car. Turn the radio off. Let's put your foot on the clutch on this one. Bring a manual. There we go, we have the car started. So we'll start up the app. Get the iPhone right orientation, we'll go back to the doctor. We'll connect. Ah, uh, so what's happened here, which can happen, is it's hooked probably back up to the wrong Wi-Fi. So we'll hook it back up to the OBD, as you can see there now, OBD. We'll flick it to here. So done. General info. This one here gives the correct information for the car. It says it's a RAV4 because I haven't changed it, but it's actually a Ford Focus. Different parameters. Engine revs. You can see that changing. So basically the same setup. It just gives a little bit more information on this particular car. So we'll see there's no codes in this car either. If there was, you could press clear. So we'll go back and try the other one. You'll see with this particular you can see it's automatically connected already. This one here gives you the fuel usage, which the other car didn't, and uh, needs to be filled up. And same deal, there's the revs going up and down. We can do some graphs. The different sensors, the same. And clear codes. Same thing, no codes in this particular machine. So there's various apps for this. You can have all sorts of gauge apps and diagnostics apps. Some of them are free. This one was $6, the other one was free. There's some up to $20, $30. And that's it. That's the Wi-Fi version of the ELM 327. That's about $20 off eBay.